I feel like I have done quite a few serious videos lately about finding your style, curating your wardrobe, and that has been really fun, but today it is really hot outside, and all I wanna do is sit down and chat to you about some new in pieces in my wardrobe. So we're gonna call this video Wardrobe Updates. What's new in my wardrobe? I've been buying a few pieces recently, that I might not have shown you if you don't follow me on other platforms. Some of these pieces I haven't shown at all yet. So I wanted to talk you through them and also talk to you about how I got scammed recently on Vinted. Most of these pieces are secondhand, they're from Vinted, but I do have a couple of new in pieces as well. So I'm just gonna go through one by one. We're gonna chat through what I've been buying recently and I would also love to know in the comments down below what you've been buying and adding to your wardrobe over the last few months since I last did a haul, which was about three and a half months ago. So I feel like we're well overdue. Let's start with the secondhand item that I found on eBay, not Vinted. I occasionally go on eBay. I really don't find that there's too much on there. There's a little bit of Cezanne on eBay in the UK, but it tends to be more expensive than on Vinted. And also I really don't like having to wait um, if it's on an auction. I get, I get really impatient. If I wanna buy it, I just wanna buy it now. So I don't mind when it is a buy it now item, but I rarely bid on things because I just, by the time it comes to it being the end of the bid, I, I've usually forgotten that I even wanted it in the first place, which is probably a sign I shouldn't be buying it. But anyway, this is an item that I did find on buy it now. And this is an item that's been on my wish list for a few months. Do you remember back in January, I tried on the blue and white checkered version of this in my first Cezanne video of the year of 2024? And I really did like it, but I wasn't completely sold on the colorway on me. I didn't feel like it was high enough contrast. Um, I felt like I, I would have suited something that was higher contrast. And this was what I was thinking of when I was thinking of that jacket. And I managed to find it on eBay. This is a size 36. I think I tried a 38 in the checkered one was a little bit big so I figured I could go with the 36 and it is fine. I did pay full price for this at pretty much exactly what it retails for on Cezanne but it is sold out so I knew if I was going to get it second hand or if I was going to get it newer tags but not from Cezanne it was probably going to be at least full price. I'm surprised actually they weren't charging more than full price for it because I feel like I still probably would have bought it at, or someone else would have bought it because it is quite a highly sought out um, sought after item I think. So yeah, anyway, I've, I've not said what it is. It's the Carlo Vest by Cezanne. So a UK eight, I paid 160 pounds, which I do think is what it retails for on Cezanne. It is sold out, comes in a couple of different colorways. I think they have brought the blue and white checkered version back or it's still in stock from last winter. Um, so I do think that one is available on Cezanne, but I just love this okra color. As I said, I think it's higher contrast on me. I love the way it looks with a white shirt and a blue pair of jeans. Yes, I'm already thinking about autumn. I, I just, summer fashion just doesn't excite me. I like to layer, I like to wear cozy things. I like to wear jeans. And at the moment, it's just way too hot to do any of that. So I am prepping my autumn wardrobe as opposed to buying anything for summer. I'm just making do with what I have. I have plenty of dresses. I feel like if it's hot, I will just wear a dress and that's my only go-to option. If it's a cooler summer day, then I will wear like linen trousers or even jeans in the UK sometimes. But yeah, it doesn't really excite me. Um, so I have been buying a couple of things. Pretty much everything I've bought is kind of more for autumn. Some of the pieces still work for summer, especially the shoes but it is with autumn in mind so this is definitely one of those and I love the way it looks I tried this on and I was immediately so happy and I just feel like it would be really nice for that transitional season maybe starting in September October where quite often in the UK it's actually still quite nice in September and quite sunny but it's definitely slightly crisper and chillier and I feel like a layer like this over a light shirt is going to be perfect so yes very very happy with this one this jacket might be my favorite thing from the video. It's really hard because I actually love everything I've been adding to my wardrobe recently. I think that comes from sitting on purchases for a really long time, like having this on my wish list for six months, kind of ensured that I was gonna love it once I finally got it. And I think that's one of the keys I'm realizing is not to rush into purchases. And actually it's okay to buy things out of season. Once you see them secondhand, even if it's been a year, six months, two years, if you still love it. Um, and I'm so pleased with this and I'm glad I finally got it in the color that I think suits me best and my wardrobe best. So yes, very, very happy. 
I think the fit is perfect, considering it's a 36, and I would usually take a 38 or a 40. I definitely think if you're gonna buy this, try and size down, unless you want it really oversized, because I still think this is kind of oversized on me, and you know, it looks a little bit big. Um, so yeah, size down. The next item I have to show you, I have already worn quite a few times. This is one of the items I've definitely been getting my wear out of already. Last week it was quite cool in the UK and it, the weather's been pretty miserable to be honest. This week it is really hot and sunny so I have been wearing some of my lighter clothing, my dresses, but last week it was like jeans and a shirt weather, it was raining and so I did wear this a few times already and I just love it, I am obsessed with it. The story behind this top is I originally ordered, if you saw on Instagram, I ordered the Cezanne C New York flabby blouse, the white one from the archives. And I wasn't 100% sold on it. And a lot of you were kind of split on it as well when I asked your opinions on the shirt. And so I ended up sending that one back, but I couldn't quite get it out of my head, even though I didn't think it was 100% perfect. And then I think I was served an ad. Instagram obviously was inside my head and knew what I was thinking about because I was served an ad for this particular shirt, which is from Reformation, which is kind of like everything I hoped the flabby shirt from Cezanne would be, but wasn't quite. And I just much preferred the design of this one. Now, now typically this one was not on sale, it was not in an archives of any description, but um, I didn't mind paying full price for it because I knew I would probably love it a lot more than the Cezanne version. So I did pick it up. It's looking a little bit worse for wear at the moment. It's got dog hair on it and bits of fluff because I have worn this probably about three times already and I've only had it a week. So that just goes to show that I really do like it. And again, I'm really excited to style this in autumn with jeans and a pair of boots. I think it's gonna look so good, but it does work for the cooler summer days as well because it is just 100% cotton. It's white, it's fairly light, even though it is long sleeved. It's one of those kind of, it does feel very piratey, Pirates of the Caribbean, a sailory with the big collar. I don't think it's gonna to be to everyone's taste, but if you have a similar taste to me, I feel like you're gonna love this. And I'm a little bit like hit or miss with Reformation, to be honest. I have a Reformation top that I bought a few months ago, if you remember, it actually is quite similar. It's a collared, kind of Peter Pan collar style top, but that one is viscose. And as much as I love it, I hand washed it a few weeks ago and I shrunk it. And I've managed to pretty much kind of stretch it back out using my steamer. So it's not the end of the world, but I do think if I'm buying from Reformation in future, I'm gonna avoid their viscose because it definitely does tend to shrink. Whereas this being 100% cotton, I feel a little bit more at ease that I can keep this in the right kind of shape and size and not shrink it when I'm washing it. This Reformation top, this needs no introduction. I've been wearing this heaps, I love it. It's just a silly, frilly white blouse, something I love to have in my wardrobe, but I just love the exaggeration of this one, the silhouette. I love that it's almost a peplum style in that it goes in, flares out, so I wouldn't tuck this in, which is quite a nice change from all of the tops and blouses I wear that I do often tuck in. It's quite comfortable to have something untucked, and yes, I love it. I'm wearing a UK 10, which is a US 6, Fits perfectly. I do sometimes find that Reformation runs small, but not in the case of this top. So definitely go true to size in this one. You could probably even size down if you're between sizes. Let's talk about shoes now because I have three new pairs of shoes to talk to you about and I'm quite excited about all of these. We will get to the Cezanne shoes that I found for a bargain on Vinted the other day. But first I wanna show you these two pairs of shoes that are new in that I've already been wearing. Well, I've already been wearing this pair and absolutely loving them. These are from a brand called Seven or Nine. They very kindly sent me these shoes and I've been so impressed with how they're wearing so far. These might look kind of familiar to you because I do have another pair of shoes that are quite similar to this from Madewell that I wore all spring long and continue to wear into the summer and they're not looking their best. I have to say the Madewell ones, as much as I love the design, the quality isn't the best. It's not as good as these. They don't have a proper sole and the, the Mary Jane strap, the strap that goes across your foot is just an elastic band essentially. Whereas this is actually a proper leather strap with a buckle. So I thought because I love those so much, 
and I don't think they're gonna last forever. I do think I'm gonna wear them and they're gonna fall apart at some point. I would get a more premium, more higher quality version of those shoes because I already have the proof of concept that I love styling them and I love the way they look. So I picked these up and these are absolutely beautiful. They're a brown leather Mary Jane shoe. They're slightly more pointed. They're like an almond toe, if you can see that. They're like an almond toe. The Madewell ones I had were more of a square toe. I actually think this is a little bit more flattering, a little bit more elongating. And as I said, this is a proper strap with a buckle as opposed to just a piece of elastic. So it is a really premium Mary Jane. The sole is really lovely. And the best thing about these is the comfort on them. I have never, genuinely never put a pair of shoes on that are so comfortable. They have a padded, squishy sole it's going to be hard to tell on camera obviously but you'll have to trust me they have this really squishy padded sole and then they even have the padding on the top so where your toes kind of sit there's this squishy foam i think it's called like their foam technology and not only is it antimicrobial so it does keep the shoes smelling fresh and feeling fresh but also it's just really comfortable to wear they are so comfortable i got these in a size 39 so i would look at the sizing on the website if you're in interested because they do have like the measurements there which is quite helpful because I wasn't sure what size to go for and 39 is about half size up from what I would usually take so definitely check your measurements alongside the website but I don't have enough good things to say about these you can see that the soles are quite dirty I've already worn them loads they have a really pretty design on the sole as well which is quite interesting but yeah they're super comfortable super premium and I've just been really enjoying styling these so I have the Mary Janes on now and I like this outfit this is a cute little summery um kind of coastal inspired outfit with my white maxi skirt from Reformation I think the shoes are perfect for a slightly more dressy shoe if you don't want to wear a sandal in the summer but you want something quite lightweight quite breezy still I really love these and they are so comfortable I cannot explain to you how comfortable these shoes are. You will have to test them out if you're looking for a pair of Mary Janes or some heels that will do you really well for long days of standing, walking. Would highly recommend. They are so cushioned. Um, and I really like this brown color with a pop of brown in my top as well. The Sandwich Method, a firm kind of styling favorite of mine. Um, and yes, I really like them. But again, I would wear them with jeans. I would wear them with... Um, I don't know, anything really. Probably not a long trouser or jean, just because I think this kind of shoe looks better when you can actually see your foot and you can see the strap um, rather than covering it up with a pair of trousers. But other than that, I think they're super versatile and super, super comfortable as well. The second pair are these heels, which I've been styling. I haven't worn these out yet because I only really wear a heel like this to events. But if you are an office girl, if you work in an office and it's a slightly more dressed up, maybe you work in fashion or maybe you work in a more corporate environment, these would be so amazing for that. Because again, these are the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn and even though they are heel they're like a small kitten heel but these are more comfortable than most of my flats because they have this cushioned sole they have the padding on the top of the toes again they are just so comfortable and I think their whole slogan their whole motto is that you can run in these heels if you if you so choose to I don't run anywhere but if I was gonna run I would quite happily run in these because they are that comfortable. I went with just a plain nude pair. These also come in white, I think. I think if you're a bride-to-be, the white version could be a really good option for a wedding day shoe because you want something that's nice, that's elegant, and you get that with the pointed toe, but they have the heel and they are so comfortable as well. You could easily wear these all day. I just thought I would mention as well, you can also buy these clip-on additions to these shoes, which I wasn't sure about at first, but actually once I put them on, I really quite like them, especially for jazzing up a shoe. Say you wear this to the office, um, to your job, and then you know, you're know you going out in the evening, you pop this on, or you're going to an event after work, and instantly it makes it so much more dressy, but you have the option of removing that if you want something more minimal. I actually really like the idea, and they literally just slip on they're really secure you kind of tighten them by pressing down on the metal I say that now I can't do it there you go they just clip on like that and it just instantly elevates it and makes it you know totally appropriate for any kind of evening event so yeah I thought I would mention that as well they're really nice and um, I think I'll probably 
have these on when I go to the wedding because I feel like they're quite appropriate. So yes, those are my seven or nine shoes. I have quite a ladylike outfit on to show you these heels just because I thought I wanted to do them justice because they're so beautiful and they are so elegant, especially with these little clip-on additions and they are so comfortable. So I've got my white skirt on with this floaty blue top, but you could wear these to an event, obviously, if you had a wedding to go to, an occasion to go to. I think they really do pop with the little pearl diamante clips on them. And as I said, I was worried that they might move about, they might fall off, but they're really sturdy on there, but they're really easy to remove if you don't want them on there. So yeah, they're so pretty, look at them. Oh, they're shining on the wall, look. The, the diamonds are reflecting onto the wall. That's cute. Um, I really, really like them. And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them as someone who is not really a heels wearer, but kind of wants to be sometimes, because I just feel like it is elongating, it's flattering, it does elevate an outfit. I feel like I'm gonna be reaching for these a lot for evening events and things like that. And that's the, the slingback. So it's a really small heel, really comfortable, really cushioned. As I was saying, very appropriate for the office. I feel like if you are a corporate girl, if you are someone who does like to dress up a little bit for work, you need to look smart. Maybe you've got client meetings. These would be perfect. Or if you're a bride to be and you want to get the white versions, these would definitely do you for a full day of standing and dancing and things like that. So yes, those are my seven or nine shoes. I do have a discount code if you're interested. I will leave it on screen as well as in the description box. I will also leave links to the shoes that I showed, both the Mary Janes and the Slingback Heels. If you're interested, um, you can go to the description box and click on those links. I would highly recommend, as I said, the most comfortable shoes in my collection by far. Let's move on to a pair of shoes that are nowhere near as comfortable, unfortunately. These are some Suzanne shoes that I got on Vinted as well. And these I were also on my wish list. I feel like I did so well ticking off a few items that had been on my wish list for a good few months and finding them secondhand. These especially were just such a bargain. So these are the Matilda flats from Suzanne. I've talked about these in at least one video, if not more, saying that I really do want these. And I've been looking for them, but I wasn't sure they were sold out for ages I think they were sold out for a good few months and then they came back I do think they're available again now but I just I never quite bit the bullet on them until I happened across them on Vinted one I think it was like a Saturday morning I was scrolling on Vinted and I saw these and they were 70 pounds now these retail for 160 new on Suzanne and I'm a little bit wary of buying shoes secondhand normally because you know they kind of mold to your foot and it, you know it's not the most hygienic I guess but she said these had been worn once and I could tell from the pictures that they pretty much, you know, they'd been worn probably for about 20 minutes. The soles were really clean still. So I thought I'd give it a go. They were 70 pounds instead of 160. I cheekily managed to get her down to 60 um, instead of 70. So I got them for 60 instead of 160 and I figured even if, you know, they're not the most comfortable or they have got slight scuffs on them from being worn, I still think that's a really good price. And I love them. I will say that they are not comfortable. If you've been looking at these on the Suzanne website, heed this warning that they are killer on your feet. I feel like I heard someone say, I think it was Elodie, is that her name? Um, say that these were really comfortable and I think she did say in fairness that once you'd worn them in they were really comfortable which I can imagine they would be because again they do have a slight padding nothing like the other ones but a slight padding to the sole but it's the heel it's the back of the heel they're really they're not even that rigid they're not as rigid as a lot of loafers but there's something about these that just really nip at your heels so definitely stock up on some blister plasters if you're going to buy these because yeah you'll need them and I need to wear them in I haven't yet worn them in I wore them for about 20 minutes. I got them, I picked them up from the Vinted Locker and I had to go to Tesco afterwards and I decided to change out of my sandals. I was too impatient to wait to try these on until I got home. So I decided to change out of my sandals in the car put these on, walk around Tesco in them. And by the end of the Tesco trip, I've been walking around for about 15 minutes, I was ready to take them off again. So yeah, I definitely need to stock up on some blister plasters. And hopefully once I've worn them in, if I wear them around the house and things like that, I can wear them in. And by the autumn time, I feel like these, although I, I will still wear them on cooler summer days, um, I feel like they're really gonna come into their own in September, October. I think the colors and just the pattern scream awesome to me. So hopefully by that point, I'll have worn them in, but I just couldn't resist for that price. I'm really happy with them. These shoes. So I've paired them with my white skirt, which I actually think can work for summer if I want to star them 
not with jeans and in a more summery way. I mean, I'm wearing a cardigan, so it's not a super summery outfit. But if I was just wearing this skirt with a tank or a t-shirt, then I do feel like these go quite nicely. I like wearing a ballet flat with something that shows the foot, just because I think that's kind of how they're intended to be worn rather than wearing them with long trousers or long jeans that completely cover them up, especially because these ones have a slightly interesting shape. They're almost like an almond shape at the top of the foot if you can kind of see what I mean so they cut in in a slightly more unusual way but I really like them and actually for some reason having put them on today they feel a lot more comfortable than they did the last time I tried them on a few days ago so hopefully they will be able to be broken in quite easily and I can start wearing them fairly soon because I do really love them and I do think they go quite nicely with this white skirt actually so that's another way I would wear them but I would also of course wear them with a slightly cropped ankle length jean I think that's probably my favorite way to style them a darker wash denim yeah would really like that as well so excited to have these and super glad that I didn't have to pay a full price for them either I have a couple of other new and pieces to show you and then we'll get on to the scam the vintage scam that I fell for um so the next piece is a piece of jewelry and I just wanted to talk about this because it is one of my favorite necklaces at the moment and you'll probably have noticed I've been wearing it almost every day in fact I basically haven't taken it off because it is solid gold so you don't really have to take it off to shower um and it's just this really delicate necklace from Linnea I am working with them in a video I have coming up, but this isn't sponsored or anything. I just wanted to mention it because if you're looking for a good necklace to wear every day, solid gold, so again, it won't tarnish, you don't have to take it off. I just feel like it's the prettiest, I don't know if this video is doing it justice, I might insert a clip of it kind of in the light, but it is just the most sparkly, it, it's, it's not even, there's no diamonds on it, there's no real anything, it's just tiny little pieces of gold, but the way it catches the light and it glitters is just so pretty and I've been absolutely loving it. And I think it is quite reasonably priced for what it is. Again, it's solid gold. I think it's about 150 pounds in the UK, which I actually think for something that you're gonna wear every day that it's never gonna tarnish, that essentially you never have to take off and just add so much impact. I've had loads of compliments on this necklace since I've started wearing it and you can layer it really easily with longer necklaces and pendants because it is quite short. I just think it's such a good buy and it would be one of my top choices. If you were starting your jewelry collection from scratch, if you were looking to add a few new jewelry pieces to your wardrobe, to kind of elevate your outfits, I would recommend this one above most others, to be honest. I think it's so, so nice. I do have a link. I don't make any money from the link, but I do have a link to Linnea if you want to use my link. Um, I'll make sure it's in the description box. Um, I do think it comes with a discount code as well. It varies as to what the percentage is. It's usually about 10 to 15%, so I'll leave it down in the description box. But yeah, I just, I, I just love it. I think it's called the Fleur Necklace. So yes, highly recommend that one as well if you're looking for a necklace. And then I have a jacket to show you, another jacket actually, which I kind of fell for. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get it so I can show you. This is something that I saw on Suzanne a good few months ago now. I feel like this must have come out in the spring and I've thought about it ever since. And I wasn't really intending on buying it because I've bought, well, I bought the Reformation top new. That's one of the only things I've bought new new recently. And yeah, this wasn't really an intention to buy this, but I just, it was out of stock. And it's that thing where something's out of stock for ages and you have it on your wish list on Cezanne. And then suddenly I noticed one Sunday it was restocked in the size 40. So this is a UK 12. And I just thought, you know what? I haven't ordered from Suzanne in ages. I haven't ordered anything from the Suzanne website in about four months since I did my last Suzanne video in April. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna try it. And um, yeah, I love it. I really do love it. It is definitely too thick and too heavy to wear at the moment, but I just love the color. There's something about this color with this embroidery pattern that I just fell in love with. It does come in a couple of different colors. I think there's a green one and I think there's a black one if I'm right, but there's something about this blue. I don't know what it is. I just think it's so stunning. And I just think again for autumn or for spring, this is gonna be such a statement jacket. I really regretted not buying or keeping the Renato jacket that I tried a few months ago, the other embroidered one. And this feels like quite a nice alternative to that. So I'm really chuffed with it. I think the fit of this one is a little bit easier to wear than the Renato as well, because the Renato, the sleeves, I know a lot of us talked about this, the sleeves are very thick, they're very padded, they're very, 
boxy and it's quite difficult to maneuver yourself in it whereas this one this one although it's a quilted jacket well, it's not really quilted it's just embroidered it isn't as thick and heavy it isn't as padded so it's a lot more wearable in that respect and it's also slightly cropped in a way it doesn't have like the length of the Renata because that one has a belt um I just felt like this one's a little bit easier to style with what I already had in my wardrobe and I figured with a plain top a pair of jeans some boots some flats some heels whatever Paula babies this is gonna look really good so yes I treated myself to that as well last but not least we have this amazing amazing jacket that I love and yeah I just love it. I love everything about it. I think it's so beautifully embroidered, so gorgeous. And I'm really glad I went with the size 40 actually, because I think the 38 would have been a little small. So I think if you are looking at this jacket in any of the colorways, maybe go for a size up or if you're in between sizes go for the bigger one because it's not that generous sometimes Suzanne clothes are really oversized and I don't think this one is particularly I'm so excited I, I really love it and I think it's going to be so nice in the transitional season come September as I said I'll be wearing this a lot hopefully Finally, I do have to talk, unfortunately, <laughs> about how I got scammed on Vinted. So I did post a reel on Instagram a while ago, a few days ago, saying I was unboxing the other bits I got from Vinted, the Carlo jacket, the Okra jacket, and the Leopard flats. And I said that I'm waiting on another parcel from Vinted, but I'm not sure whether I'd got scammed or not. It came today and instantly, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell because it's a really, really good fake, but I am 99.999% sure it's a fake. Um, so it's the Leontine jumper. I wear my Leontines to death, I have two, and I know you'll say, why do you need a third? But honestly, they are my most worn items in my wardrobe, and sometimes they're both in the wash, and because I hand wash everything, sometimes it takes me a little bit, a little while to get round to washing things. The pile can kind of stack up for weeks at a time before I actually kind of gain the motivation to do all my hand washing because it does take a while and then things take ages to dry because they don't they don't get spun in the machine so especially because it's been raining so much in the UK as well so I thought you know what, I'm just gonna buy a second hand vintage um, Leontine the one that has the ecru and the brown stripe so I have the navy and the ecru I have the ecru and the navy so I figured I'd get a different color this one's actually in a size large um, my other two were in a medium but I thought be quite nice to have a slightly slouchier one maybe just more for like working from home things like that so I bought this I think I felt a little bit I, I'd fallen into a false sense of security buying things on Vinted because I've never actually been scammed before I feel like especially with the Suzanne items because I know Suzanne so well I can usually spot the fakes on Vinted from a mile off there's usually something really obvious that gives them away whether that's in the account like the account not having any reviews or any other items or the piece itself just clearly looks fake but this one I didn't this one the person had eight five star reviews they were selling other items and I think the pictures that they showed on the advert for this were of a real Leontine because basically when this arrived, they'd photographed this or a Leontine like this on a hanger, like a normal Leontine, it looked completely legit. And then um, when this arrived, it was in a sealed bag, a, a branded Cezanne plastic bag. I don't have it with me but it was branded Suzanne and it was sealed. This was in it. So they clearly can't have opened the bag to take the photos. So they'd obviously taken photos or stolen photos of a different Leontine, maybe someone else's pictures, posted those and then sent me this in a sealed Suzanne, Suzanne bag. And instantly that sent red flags to me because I thought, I don't think Suzanne send things in plastic bags. Let me know if you've ever received anything from Suzanne in a branded Suzanne plastic bag, because I haven't. I don't think they use plastic at all in their packaging, but I thought maybe it's a really old one. Maybe they used to use it. Maybe it's been in storage for a few years. Um, you know, I was trying to give them the, the benefit of the doubt because to be honest, it does really look real. Um, if you look at it, 
I think if unless you were really familiar with Suzanne, and I have two of these jumpers, so I know exactly what they look like and how they feel. But I don't. I think if you were newer to the brand and you hadn't felt this or worn this before, you'd probably not realise this is a fake because it is very legitimate. But there were a couple of things that kind of hinted to me that this is fake. One in particular that I thought I would show you in case you come across one in the wild on Vinted, Depop, eBay in the future and you need some help kind of figuring out, you know, if it could be fake or not. So there were a couple of things. The, th the main thing that gave it away, well, there were two things, the feel of it. And I know you can only, you can only feel this if you felt the original Leontine. So it might not be applicable, but if you have felt the original, this feels different. One of the main complaints people have about the Leontine is that it's really hempy and it's quite scratchy and stiff. Whereas this actually feels a lot softer. It, it feels like acrylic to me. It feels like polyester. You know, that very soft kind of squidgy feel that you get from an acrylic jumper. Yeah, it feels like that. It does not feel like the original Leontine. And then second of all, this was a thing that kind of gave it away to me. I looked at the care label and um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I will show you. It doesn't look too bad, actually. It does look slightly different. I don't know if that's in focus. It does look slightly different to the one on my other Leontine, but they do update them sometimes. And it does have all of the same, it does have all of the same wording, branding, etc., on the front. But then I was reading the back, which again looks very legit, has all of the like the washing instructions but I noticed some spelling mistakes and that's what gave it away to me. So they've, they've misspelled tumble in the do not tumble dry and they've misspelled, oh well, they've said iron low here instead of iron low heat. And that's when I thought, ah, yeah, this isn't real. <laughs> I don't think Suzanne are misspelling on their care labels. So unfortunately I have got a fake. I'm trying to get my money back, but I actually don't know if I will because I know the customer service on Vinted in general is really poor. And yeah, you, you do pay a buyer's protection fee. But from what I've seen of people complaining in the past, you often don't win the case anyway and you don't get your money back. It's also got a lopsided, it's kind of lopsided at the bottom of the buttons. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I don't know if you'll be able to see there but it's just sewn a little bit poorly, which again, I don't think that would pass Suzanne's quality control. You would hope, you never know these days, but you would hope. So yes, those were the giveaways for me. The care label I think is the biggest one. The actual label itself, like the tag looks pretty legit. Um, I, I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. It looks pretty much exactly the same as my other ones. So the feel of it and the care label were the biggest giveaways for me. But yeah, if I can get scammed, if I can buy fake Suzanne on Vinted, I feel like anyone can. So buyer beware, be careful when you're purchasing things secondhand. I thought I would quickly try on the fake Leontine just to see what it felt like on the body, what the fit was like. And I think generally it does look quite similar. Again, I think it's such a close fake, a scarily close fake, but I can still feel that acrylic-y, squidgy, soft texture to it. It just doesn't feel the same as my genuine Leontines. And that is definitely the biggest giveaway. It just feels acrylic. That's, that's kind of the only way I can put it really. But again, if you weren't super familiar with Suzanne, with Leontines, with cotton jumpers, scratchy jumpers, you might not know that. And you might actually quite like the texture of it, but yeah, for me, it just doesn't feel like the real thing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get my money back from Vinted, but I will keep you posted on that. It is such a shame because I am such a huge advocate for secondhand shopping, especially Vinted. I find Vinted is by far my favorite platform in the UK. It's the most widely used. So there is the most on there. I feel like it has the cheapest prices compared to Depop, which is a lot more expensive generally, and even eBay. Um, so I'm still gonna continue shopping at Vinted because I've got some right bargains there. But yeah, I was kind of gutted that that was my first um, scam purchase, fake purchase. That is everything I've been adding to my wardrobe over the last few months. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of my purchases. Have you been buying anything for your wardrobe lately? Are you getting ready for autumn? Are you somewhat, you know, early buying autumn things? Because I'm so done with summer fashion. Just want to get through summer in my floaty dresses and then I'll get really excited for lots of layering and outfits and, you know, fun combinations once September hits.
Also let me know if you would like me to do a video like this, a little roundup, wardrobe updates, new in my wardrobe every few months or so. I do want to do far less hauls on here and less kind of buying focused content and more styling focused content, but I still feel there's a place for the occasional update on what I've been buying every few months or so. So let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the chatty casual style of it. I think I did. I think it was a nice change from something that was a little bit more produced and a little bit more formal um, as some of my previous videos have been. Give it a like if you did enjoy it, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I will leave everything I've mentioned linked down below. Thank you to 7 Online for sponsoring this video. Those shoes will be linked at the beginning of the description box. I will also leave some videos on screen if you would like to catch up with some of my recent content. Otherwise, I hope you're doing really, really well and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!